On April 8th, much of Arkansas is going to experience a total eclipse of the sun. I mean, that's kind of a once in a lifetime event. The next total eclipse won't happen until 2044, and depending on where you live, you may or may not experience what they call totality, or when the sun blacks out completely. I'm 63 years old, and this is the first time in my life I've ever been in the path of a total eclipse of the sun, and I gotta tell you, I'm kind of excited about it. They're estimating that 1.3 million people are going to be coming to Arkansas to experience the total eclipse. Now, to understand the impact of that, you've got to realize Arkansas's regular population is about 3 million people. This is going to increase our population by over one-third, so that's kind of a big deal. With all this in mind, I want to ask you, are you ready to view the total eclipse of the sun? Do you have a place to stay? Do you have a place to park your RV or to pitch your tent? Do you have the ability to get here before the mob traffic hits? Listen, Arkansas has a ton of small towns that have really, really nice hotels and bed and breakfasts. So don't overlook those places in favor of a hotel in a larger town where you have to drive then to get somewhere to see it. In addition, our state parks have tons of RV facilities and camping sites for tents if that's your thing. In other words, there are a lot of places where you can witness the eclipse. And remember, as you look for that perfect place to enjoy the eclipse, respect property owners rights and don't trespass without permission. Now, are you ready to look at the total eclipse? There are a couple safety things I want you to consider. First, and this is really important, just because it's a total eclipse of the sun does not mean it's safe for you to look at it with the naked eye. The fact it's a total eclipse isn't going to protect your eyes from the UV and infrared light of the sun. It's still coming at us, and even a short exposure to, of the naked eye to the sun can damage your eyesight, so you want to be careful. There are a lot of places selling glasses that supposedly enable you to look directly at the total eclipse, but you want to make sure the glasses you buy are CE and ISO certified for looking directly at the sun. Do your research and find glasses that are certified. Amazon has several styles of glasses that are certified. Your eyesight is far too important to risk just grabbing a pair of glasses from a gas station that's supposedly going to allow you to look at the total eclipse. They may be certified, but you want to make sure. In other words, don't wait to the last minute. Prepare ahead of time. Get certified glasses ahead of time and teach your kids how to wear them to protect their little eyes. Also, before you look at the sun, carefully examine the certified solar lenses to make sure there are no scratches on the lenses or holes in the lens. If there are, throw them away. They're not safe. Next, you may want to take a picture or video of the eclipse. Apple claims that you can take a picture or video with your iPhone and it won't affect your phone. But you know what? I'm not willing to take that chance. So when I bought my certified glasses, I bought a package of five. One for my wife, one for me, a couple extras, and then I'm going to cut one of them up and tape it over the lens of my iPhone. That way, I know it's going to be safe. Also, if you have a DSLR or mirrorless camera like I do, you're going to want to buy a solar filter that will protect your camera sensor. You don't want to ruin the camera trying to get that perfect shot of a total eclipse and by doing so, ruining your sensor. Now, I know that some people are going to say, well, I don't want the picture that dark, to which I would respond, you don't want to ruin your camera and you certainly don't want to ruin your eyesight. So again, get a solar filter for your camera. It's worth the money. Now, since this could very well be a literal once-in-a-lifetime event, you're not going to want to miss that perfect video or picture. So what I'm going to do, and what I would suggest you do, is for a day or two prior to the big day, at the time the eclipse is going to be over your location, head outside, put your solar filter on your DSLR mirrorless camera or on your iPhone, and put your CE and ISO certified glasses and practice getting the sun in frame during that particular time so you'll know where the sun is in the sky. You want to make sure that everything is framed properly. Then, on the day of the eclipse, you'll feel much more confident. 
Oh, and on the day of the eclipse, here's something you want to make sure of. Stand guard over your camera and tripod. You don't want someone bumping it or somehow getting in front of the shot. Again, this could very well be a once in a lifetime thing. Keep in mind, eclipse totality will last in Arkansas anywhere from three and a half minutes to about four minutes and a few seconds. So you're going to want to make sure you're ready. Okay, happy total eclipse watching. Remember, get the proper equipment for your camera and your eyes. I can't stress that enough. This is so important. Regular old sunglasses that block UV rays, welder's goggles, or arc welding masks aren't going to keep your eyes safe. You need glasses for your eyes that are CE and ISO certified to deflect infrared and ultraviolet light. Have I stressed that enough? And of course, if you're not in the path of totality, we'll have a video up for you on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, soon after. So go ahead and subscribe, that way you won't miss the video.